All right, brand new in the box, 15 amp pigtail uh, or mobile connector adapter. This goes into your UMC or universal mobile connector, which is like the mobile charger. Uh, and this is the 10 amp one. Um, there's no box. Wait, did they sell me a used, a used 10 amp tail? What? Hey everyone, so today we're talking about the pigtails or the charging tails for the UMC or the Universal Mobile Connector or the Mobile Charger. Now, depending on the age of your Tesla, this may or may not have come with your car. I have a 2019 Model 3, so this mobile charger came with my car uh, and also comes with two pigtails or two charging tails. A 10 amp one, which is basically your regular you know, household plug here in Australia, and also a 15 amp one, which isn't quite as common in households, but you'll find this kind of plug in uh, caravan parks or campsites. Uh, and you can tell it's the 15 amp one because the ground pin is quite a bit bigger than the 10 amp one, which is this one here. So hopefully you can see it on camera. This is a 10 amp one. Okay, so on the left is the 10 amp one and on the right, uh, the lower one is the 15 amp one. So you'll see that the pin, or hopefully you can see, that the pin of the 15 amp one is thicker than the 10 amp one on the top. So for reference, this is the UMC or the Universal Mobile Charger. Uh, it plugs straight into an outlet in your home and then it can charge your car. Uh, now it will kind of trickle charge your car. This is kind of called level one charging. Uh, it's a bit slow, um, but it will do the job. And actually this is my main form of charging. I don't have a wall connector or anything uh, at my place. I just use this, plug it into the wall outlet uh, and I've been driving this car for three years. All right, so why do I have to talk about these charging tails or, or these pigtails? So this one here is the 10 amp charging tail, which came with my uh, universal mobile connector. Uh, if you look closely at the text here, it says AU adapter 10, but the line below it, the very last line, it actually says eight amps. So this 10 amp tail is only eight amps. Now similarly for the 15 amp tail, the last line on the bottom of this text here uh, says 12 amps. So even though it is AU adapter 15, it only goes to 12 amps. So depending on when you got your universal mobile connector or the mobile charger, you may or may not get the tails that can charge at the full 10 or the full 15 amp. Now luckily, Tesla sells the later generation of tails so this one here is the later generation. Uh, if you can see that on the last line, it actually says 15 amps. So this can charge at the full 15 amps. This one is the later generation 10 amp tail. And again, on the bottom, the last line there, if you can see there, it says 10 amps. So this can draw the full 10 amps out of your regular household socket. So two amps more than the one that came with my mobile charger. So let's check it out. So let's do a quick test. Uh, let's start by plugging in my original 10 amp tail. This is the one that says, you know, eight amps, even though it's a 10 amp tail. I hope that focuses on camera, hard to see. Uh, but this is the eight amp version. So let's plug it into the charger and see what happens. All right, that's plugged in. The eight amp tail is plugged in. We're gonna plug this into the car. All right. Let's see what it says on the screen. So it's connected. It says it's gonna take 24 plus hours. And at the bottom there, you see the amps ramping up, but you see it's, the maximum is eight amps. So this is as fast as it will go. Uh, and the car currently says it'll take more than 24 hours to charge to 80%, which is what I set it the limit to. So let's swap out to the newer generation 10 amp tail and see what happens. This is the newer 10 amp tail, actually 10 amps. Let's plug that in. All right, it's turned on. Let's plug it into the car. All right, let's go to the screen here. And actually immediately you see 
the bottom max rate is 10 amps. And you see it's slowly ramping up, that's the current amperage, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Uh, and actually, you can see an immediate effect, right? So before, at 8 amps, the car said it'll take over 24 hours. Now at 10 amps, the car is saying it'll take 20 hours and 55 minutes. So, I mean, we saved, what, 3, three hours from 2 amps? That's pretty good. Uh, for me, this is my main form of charging, so any extra amperage is greatly appreciated. And if it can save me, you know, three hours of time, hell yeah, these tails are definitely worth it. If you're interested in getting these tails yourself, uh, to get them, you actually have to go to the service section in your Tesla app, uh, and then you have to actually request service and go to upgrades and accessories, and then tell them that you want the 10 amp and the 15 amp tail. So that's what I did, uh, and it was a bit of a pain to get. Basically, they had no idea what I was talking about. Uh, I mean, this is not a usual request, so I guess it's forgivable that they don't know what I'm talking about, but they definitely do have it. So to save you guys some hassle, this is what it's actually called. So it's called a Smart Adapter AU10 uh, amp and AU15 amp. So that's what they're called. So hopefully, maybe if you provide them these uh, part numbers directly, they may be able to find it a bit quicker, uh, but it, it took me quite a bit of back and forth before they, they knew what they, I was looking for. Uh, and this is the price that I was charged. So 45.55 uh, Australian dollars, that's how much each tail cost. Um, so yeah, so if you're interested in getting these tails to get yourself a bit more charging speed uh, with your UMC, then yeah, highly recommend it. I mean, it's, it's shaving off three hours from charging based on what the screen is telling me. So yeah, highly recommended. Um, and check your own tails uh, if you have an older UMC um, and see if you have an 8 amp one or a 10 amp one. Um, anyway, hope this was useful uh, and thanks for watching.